Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a full face of drugstore makeup. Um, and it's mostly new products that I'm excited to try out that I've heard, well, some cases I haven't heard great things, but they're kind of like products that are being hyped up, I guess you would say. So I wanted to try them for myself. And yeah, I don't do a lot of full face of drugstore makeup videos. I think I only have, I think, well, I have one other drugstore specifically. I have a Walmart um, makeup video, which is basically kind of like drugstore also. Um, but yeah, I'll link those below. But anyway, my point with that was I don't try a lot of drugstore makeup. So uh, I'm kind of getting into it now though, but I have realized that even though drugstore makeup is getting better quality, the prices are getting very high. Some of these things are like on par with Sephora prices, which I'm like, I don't know if we want that to happen at the drugstore. But anyway, we'll just get into it. So the only thing I have on my face now is my skincare because I do want to try a new primer. This is the NYX the Marshmallow Primer that everyone is talking about it seems. Um, it actually has marshmallow root in it. Um, this product, I'm talking about like Canadian prices, this is $22.99 at the drugstore. And honestly, I only bought it because I thought it was on sale, but it wasn't. <laughs> there was the product next to it that was on sale, I guess, or they just made a mistake. Um, but yeah, so technically, like with tax and everything, this is maybe even more expensive than a primer at Sephora, depending on the brand. So this better be good. So I don't really know anything about this. I just saw like a few people demo it. It says use alone or with foundation. So I guess it's kind of like a skincare product also. Yeah, that's pretty much all it says on here. So let's see. And it does have a pump if you didn't see that. Oh. I don't know if it smells like anything. I think it just smells like ingredients. Um, it looks like it has kind of like a whipped texture, if you can tell. I mean, it does kind of feel marshmallowy. It feels like um, that marshmallow stuff you get in a jar. If um, What is that called? Jet puff or whatever? It kind of feels like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much to apply either, so let me start with that. I feel like that just absorbed into my skin <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it's not like a pore filling primer or anything like that from what I can tell based on the texture. It just feels like a moisturizer honestly. So yeah I guess that's why they say you can use it alone but I mean I don't know what are the other like skincare claims of this so yeah, and it didn't come with a box or anything, so I'll have to look that up, I guess. I did also get a new foundation. Definitely didn't need another foundation, but I've been wanting to try this for a long time. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, and it says with concentrated serum and antioxidants. Flawless coverage that evens tone and smooths without setting into lines over time more hydrated radiant skin so that is a lot of big claims um this was also expensive but i don't remember how much it was i meant to keep the receipt but i forgot i want to say it's like 17 over 17 dollars and i think that was on sale so yeah um and i got the shade 10 ivory which i think is the lightest shade and normally I don't get the lightest shade anymore, but from what I can tell in the tube, it looks like it should be okay. So let's open this. Oh, so it's actually like one of these kind of, app not applicators, 
components. Um, I guess it's quite serum-y, as it... I mean, it's called Radiant Serum Foundation. Oh yeah, it's very liquidy. Maybe I should have shaken it. Oh yeah, it's very liquidy. So I'm gonna use my sponge. Um, maybe I shouldn't use a sponge because it's very liquidy, but we'll see. Looks like that. Mm. Yeah, I think this shade is okay. It smells like ingredients again. <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe it's a little light. <laughs> that's another, that's like an issue when you buy at the drugstore because, um, well, not that I could have tested it anyway if there were testers, but you can't really see what you're getting at the drugstore. This is blending out very easily. This kind of, wow, <laughs> this shade, oh no. It looked so dark in the tube, but on my face, it's too light. Yeah, so I guess I should have got a shade up. Um, but I do like how this looks. At first I was like, Oh no, it's the Rare Beauty Foundation all over again. Because it had that same kind of like serum -y texture. But this one, I don't see that it's going straight into my pores. And it looks really good in places where foundations sometimes look bad on me. Like right on my nose bridge and on my forehead. And it's a very um, light coverage, I would say. Maybe you could build it up if you wanted to. I don't want to build it up, so yeah. Okay, so far so good. And I think it looks very dewy. Maybe, I mean, could that be the primer? I'm not sure. It's not like this claim to be an illuminating primer, so I don't know. But yeah, that looks very nice so far so i also got a new concealer well this is not really new i think it's the elf hydrating camo concealer so i think they first had a, just the regular camo concealer and then they came out with this hydrating version and i don't i don't really know if this is supposed to be good it says full coverage satin so we'll have to try it. And I got the shade Fair Warm, which maybe was not a good <laughs> choice. I didn't like, this is like a collective haul. I've been buying things here and there. And especially when I buy at the drugstore, I try to get things on sale. So I didn't like buy these products to go together necessarily, but yeah. Okay, so this is huge. Is this like a big doe foot? applicator yes okay so this is like elf's version of shape tape from what i can tell actually this shade looks pretty good it looks very light it smells kind of like paint <laughs> but that's fine um yeah and there's not really anything else to say about this oh here oversized doe foot okay i could have seen that on the package to conceal, contour, and highlight. Oh, I see. So I guess like they're claiming you could buy like deeper shades of this um, if you want to use it for a contour, but I'm going to use it for under eye concealing. And maybe some here. Just start with that amount because I have no idea what to expect really. Honestly, what intrigued me most about this was that it's called a hydrating concealer because I've been having um, issues with concealers being too dry for my under eye. Um, okay. It is pretty good. Yes. 
Yeah. You're making all kinds of noise. I assumed it was you were editing a video. I didn't know you were filming a video. Oh, I said I'm going to film a video now. Okay, so I do like the coverage of this um, a lot better than like my Tarte concealers, which are like water basically. <laughs> but I, first of all, I do find it's already settled into my fine lines. And it did that like right away. It's kind of doing what the Makeup Forever, um, I have it right here, this one, the Matte Velvet Skin. It's kind of doing what that does to me under the eye, um, which is like the formula is so thick that it, I don't, how do I explain this? Like. It kind of looks like it cakes up in my fine lines. Whereas other concealers that are more thin texture, they might crease over time, but they don't like look caked right away. So yeah, this one, mm, not my favorite. I do actually find these are very similar. Um, but this is a better shade for my under eyes. This one I like to use for spot concealing, but anyway, yeah, so not my favorite off the bat. Maybe you can, because I feel like on camera it looks okay, but yeah, like you can see right here, it just like went straight there and here as well, so yeah, I'll have to see what happens like over the day. Oh, I wanted to put this on before I started, but I forgot. This is the Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper Mineral Mineral Rip Mineral Wear Lip Plumper. These are new. It's in the shade Pink Radiant Cut. There's only two shades of these. The other one was like almost clear, maybe with like a hint of pink, so I got this one. But I want to use this before I put anything else on to see if it actually is a lip plumper. Because it definitely smells like one. Uh, it smells like the Buxom lip glosses and the Sephora. I don't know what that's called. The like, the big thick lip plumper that they have. I'm not sure if they still have it, but. So this is actually quite pigmented. I thought it was gonna be very sheer. So <laughs> I would wear this alone, especially in the spring. I think it's gonna be a nice shade. So, so far I feel nothing. Um, it's not like that tingly effect. So let me just keep this while I continue on and see if it actually does anything. But I do like the texture. It's not sticky or anything. And there is like some shimmer in it, but it doesn't feel gritty or anything on the lips. So that's good. Okay. So, so far every, I like everything except the concealer looks a bit cakey, but let's move on. Um, oh, I do have a cream blush product, so let me put that on first. This is actually the e.l.f. Putty Blush, which I'm very excited about, in the shade Bora Bora. So, actually, this was the only shade that they had in the store. And now, at sh um, Shoppers, yes, I get confused because in Quebec, Shoppers Drug Mart is Pharmapri, so I always say Shoppers Drug Mart in videos to make sure everyone knows what I'm talking about if you're not from Quebec, so I get confused, but anyway. So Shoppers carries e.l.f. now, which is very exciting because we've had e.l.f. in Canada at uh, Walmart for like a really long time, but they never have the new products I've noticed. Um, and if they do get new products, it's like months later. So I was very excited to see, we do have e.l.f. now as shoppers, but it's a very small like end cap. So I'm hoping 
that they're doing like a test run. So if they see like a lot of people buying e.l.f. products, maybe they'll expand the range because they only had one shade of the blush. Um, yeah, they have very minimal selection. I also got the concealer there actually, but yeah, that is very exciting to me. So I wanted to try these. Um, I actually do have the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I don't use it that often because I don't really gravitate towards like pore filling primers, but I did like it when I tried it. So I guess this is supposed to be the same kind of deal, but a blush. I don't know if I would have picked this shade if I had all the, yeah, I definitely wouldn't because I know there's like some nice like warm peachy shades. So I wouldn't have bought this one if they had the whole selection, but like I said, it was the only one they had. Um, so it says on back, say hello to that island glow. This lightweight but buildable putty to powder finish, oh, putty to powder blush, blends seamlessly into skin. Infused with argan oil and vitamin E, this silky smooth buildable formula will give you a flush from within glow. That sounds promising. Oh, and there's directions. Using the putty blush brush or clean fingers, gently pat over the apples of your cheeks. Continue patting for a smooth, seamless blend. Okay, I didn't see any putty blush brush, but I would like to know what that looks like. So I'm gonna Google it. Cause if I have a brush similar, I would prefer to use a brush um, than my fingers. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging, by the way. There's a lot of product in here for a blush. Okay, so this is the Putty Blush Brush. It just looks like a fluffy duo fiber brush, kind of. I actually like how that looks. I might have picked that up if I saw it. But let me see. Because usually, I actually do use an e.l.f. brush for um, my cream blushes. It's this one here. The e.l.f. Uh, airbrush stipple. So I think maybe I should just use this one. So I picked some, oh, I picked it up on the brush here. Okay. Not my favorite color for blush, but um, it applied very easily. It's not like patchy or anything. And I think that was just the right amount um, of product. I don't wanna use more. Um, yeah, this is gonna last you forever, I feel. And it's not like, you know, it doesn't feel weird on your face. I was kind of worried like the texture of this would be weird for a blush because the putty primer is a primer that's meant to like smooth your skin, but it does work. Um, and it did say it was a um, putty to powder. So yeah, I do get that effect, which is interesting. So yeah, we'll see it if it wears because sometimes these kind of blushes just fade away very quickly. So I'll have to keep you updated on that. Uh, for bronzer, I didn't get a new bronzer because my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is in my project pan. And if I had gotten a new bronzer, like I would just not use this one enough. So I'm just going to apply this. I think we all know. We all know the butter bronzer is like a cult classic. Yeah, so I'm just trying to use it up because it's the oldest bronzer in my collection. It still smells like coconut. Not as strong as it used to, probably. And this is the shade bronzer, so it's just like the 
the OG one before they came out with like all the different ones because now they have like a light bronzer a deep bronzer and they actually have a whole new uh, bronzer collection in the like what's it called butter butter something I don't know something about butter collection but I just don't need another bronzer at this moment and I have another elf product for highlight this is not new at all I'm pretty sure but I got it uh, for Christmas it's the elf baked highlighter and blush so I'm not gonna use the blush side because I already used blush but I do really want to try this highlighter I'm gonna use my Milani all over blending brush and hope that it picks it up because this is like a baked formula. I think what I heard about these is that you have to like scrape off the top. Is that true or is that something else? Yeah, I think that it might be true because it's very dry on the top and like hard to pick up. I guess that is working. Okay, it just looks like I'm getting nothing on the brush, but I guess I am. <laughs> it's just not, it because it's baked, it's not like a um, Anastasia highlighter where it's like super silicone-y kind of. Can you see anything? Yeah, I, I think I do. Okay. Okay, that was very strange because <laughs> I felt like it was so dry, but I do see that it's like nice on the face and a good shade. It's not like frosty or anything. So yeah, okay, interesting. By the way, this lip plumper, maybe I feel a little tingle, but it's, yeah, it's not, I don't know if it's doing anything. My lips do look smoother, but yeah. So for eyeshadow, I didn't get anything new. I did see there were some new eyeshadows at the drugstore from Revlon, I think it was. Um, those like, um, they kind of look like they're fabric. I don't, I'll put like a picture here, I guess, because I don't know how to explain that. But they, I didn't really like the color stories of them. And eyeshadow at the drugstore never really intrigues me that much. And I do already have the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes, which I know are good, but there was nothing else like new that I was excited about. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Nudes of New York. This is like a really good everyday palette. I mentioned it in my palette video, but I just haven't used it enough. And this is another pricey product at the drugstore. I think it's over $25 if I remember. Maybe it's less now because I did buy this like when it first came out. But yeah, I love the color story of this. I think you can do a lot of different look. I think I want to go first in with the shade Soloist, which is this like matte cream shade just to make sure I have a good base down. And I think I'll just do one eye on camera to save time. Um, these shadows are very powdery, like when you put your brush in. I always feel like I need to mention that, but I don't really care myself, but some people do, I guess. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade protector, this like mauve here, just in the crease. Yeah, so this is what I mean by like powdery. There's a lot of kick up. But like I said, I don't personally care. Oh, I like that shade. And then in the crease, just to deepen it up a little, I'm gonna go in the shade next to it, this shade Explorer. These blend so easily like this palette could be sold at sephora and you wouldn't know the difference um so i guess for that reason i mean it, the price is fair it's just 
when you're shopping at the drugstore and you see like $25 for a palette, you're kind of like, that better be good kind of thing. So do I want to do some shimmer? I don't think I do. I think this is just going to be a really simple look, but I do want to use this shade originator for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Yeah, so the shimmers are a bit um, like a drier formula than some other ones that I, well, a lot of other shimmers that I've tried, but I do still think the pigment is there, but I feel like maybe if you kept blending it, they would like dust away a little, but I haven't tried enough of the other shimmers to really have a full review on that. There's actually only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers in this palette. Um, so these two big ones here and then these, these three and this one. And this one is actually more like a satiny maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of variety, like I said, in, in the shades and also in the textures. So if you are looking for like an everyday palette at the drugstore, I think this one is very good. So let me just do the other eye off camera. And I will also do my brows because I didn't want to buy a new brow product either because I have a lot that I'm trying to use up. So I'm just going to use my Essence Make Me Brow and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So... Um, I did also put some shadow, just the same shades I used in the crease um, under my eye, just to like bring it together. And yeah, I just did my brows. So I do actually have a new mascara. And I finally found this freaking Maybelline Sky High. So <laughs> this has been out of stock like forever. This is apparently the mascara that went viral on TikTok. It's, like I said, the Maybelline Sky High. Um, it says it's in the shade Blackest Black, and it has limitless length and full volume with a flex tower brush. So I find it really funny when products go viral on TikTok because then, like, all the YouTubers feel like they have to test them out and, like, really tell you if it's good. <laughs> and I think what happened is, like, Everyone loved this on TikTok, but everyone on YouTube is like, it's not that great. So now I'm kind of like, well, why did I buy this? I hope it's good, but I really just wanted to try it out for myself. So let's open it. It says it, it's with bamboo extract and fibers. Gives authentic impact. No clumping, smudging, or flaking. Up to 24 hour wear. I do like the claims of this because... I have had issues with mascaras flaking on me. Um, oh, this packaging is really nice. Um, yeah, and I do like mascaras that have fibers in them. I do find they give you a lot of length. Um, oh, okay. Wow. So this is one of these um, like plastic bristle brushes. I do, in the past, I have loved um, brushes with this shape that are kind of like a triangle because I find like you can get really into the corners of the eye with those um, but what I noticed right away is how like flimsy this is like wow that's like I'm barely giving any pressure and it's just floppy so let's see how that applies Oh, I do like how it's separating. Maybe I should zoom in. It's separating my lashes really nicely. I'm just trying to build it up to get the length effect. It is called Sky High, so you couldn't see anything, could you? It is called the Sky High Mascara, so it should be giving me a lot of length. And I've said before, I don't really care about volumizing mascaras. I just feel like 
they're more clumpy than anything so from what i see here like this is like it said it's not clumpy at all which is great yeah i feel like i could just keep building this up and it would just go higher and <laughs> higher and yeah i think that's enough uh, i don't want to get crazy here okay that is i really like that we'll have to see how it wears because if it just falls down then it's not worth it that's why i like my um what is that called my it cosmetics superhero i find it's one of the only mascaras that gives your lashes like a lift and it even like curls them almost and it stays like that until you take it off so yeah we'll have to see what this one does but so far so good and i do like the brush I mean, it is plastic, so it's going to hurt if you get it in your eye. But I think because it's so flimsy, it's like you have less chance of poking your eye up. <laughs> so that's good. And I also like how this is, like the formula is not super wet. Considering I just opened it, some mascaras, when you first open them, you can like barely even use them at first and you have to wait for them to dry up because they're so wet but this one is really good off the bat but I will say you have to like take your time like you can't just do like a few little swipes and expect to get the full effect like you have to kind of sit here and keep building on it but that's kind of true of most fiber mascaras because it's like the motion of you applying it that creates the the light. Okay, this one's kind of getting a little crazy. <laughs> but I, I do feel like this is maybe the longest my lashes have ever looked. And I do like this mascara for lower lash too. Because it's not clumpy and it actually separates them. Okay, I actually think I really like this. I was expecting to hate it, honestly. But yeah, like I said before, I think it's just one of those effects of like TikTok versus YouTube. <laughs> but I think TikTok was right on this one. I did get some here, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry before I get it, um, take it off. Uh, what else do I have? I feel like um, I really like how this base is looking. Um, the lip plumper, I don't know. It didn't really do anything. But I do like how it feels on the lips. I would probably just end up using this as a lip gloss and not a lip plumper. And the concealer, it didn't get worse, so that's good. But I can definitely see it caked up in my fine lines. Um, so yeah, just to give you an update now that I'm done my face. But the last thing I have, actually I have to remove this mascara first. So the last, oh no, I, I don't, I have two more things. But first let me do this one. So this is, I think it's new, it's new to me at least, the Milani Green Goddess um, Hydrating Facial Mist. And it has cannabis sativa seed oil in it, which I was surprised to see at the drugstore, at least in Canada. I feel like we have weird laws about products that have cannabis in them, like, well, not cannabis specifically, but products like of that nature, because every time I see them like online, it always says like, does not ship to Canada. So I'm like, what is that about? So I was surprised that we have this at our Canadian drugstores and I really like that it's called a hydrating facial mist and I believe it said somewhere something about calming okay maybe it said cooling let me read this it says weightless hydration delivers a cooling boost of moisture cannabis sativa seed oil soothes and nourishes skin barrier prep and refresh use before makeup or to freshen or to refresh skin Shake well, blah, 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 blah. Do not spray into eyes. Okay. 
So let me shake it well. I'm worried about the sprayer on this because you guys know if you've seen my other videos, I do not like the spray on the Milani Make It Dewy. And now that I'm looking at this, I think it's the same one. No. Okay. Let's see. And it did also say to hold 8 to 10 inches away. So I'm a bit scared. <laughs> let, me, let me just do it. Ooh. Okay. I like this sprayer better. I honestly think my Make It Dewy one, it's that the sprayer is clogged also, so it's not giving me like an even mist. Whereas this one felt, yes, it was very wet, but it felt like it was a nice mist that covered my whole face. And it doesn't like smell weird or anything. Um, I don't see, I have a few like wet drops, but nothing that's like disrupting my makeup. And this doesn't claim to be a, um, what do you call it? Like a Urban Decay All Nighter, like a setting spray that actually makes your makeup last longer. It's more to refresh. So I was already looking pretty dewy, but I do always like a hydrating mist for my dry skin. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I can't really give a full review on a mist that I used one time, but it felt nice and it did feel refreshing. Um, so the final product, um, honestly, I could just keep this on because I didn't know it was gonna be so pigmented, but I did get a new Wet n Wild product. I think these are new again, I don't know. I don't normally shop at the drugstore for makeup, so everything looked new to me. But this is called the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout marshmallow lip mousse so apparently marshmallow is like the trending ingredient these days but i was very intrigued by this because it said on the display that it was like a comfort um formula so i like that it's not claiming to like dry down or be like a matte because the wet n wild cat suits are very drying I've noticed so I'm happy that they have a different like more moussey formula so let me just remove a bit of this I will say my lips feel very um, moisturized which is good so I got the shade um, fluff you fluff you that's the shade um, this was the brightest shade they had because I wanted something like for spring so I got the bright one so let's try this out Oh, it smells like cotton candy. It has one of those doe foots that has a scoop in it. So, you know, it fits to your lip kind of thing. So let me see. Maybe I should have put a lip liner on. I don't know. Oh, okay. You know what this is very similar to? The Too Faced Peach Puff. That matte, like, what was it called? Like a soft matte thingy. This feels exactly like that. So that's what it looks like. Um, I do like this shade for spring. It feels so interesting. It feels like, I don't know, kind of like a powder, powdery finish. I guess this would come off pretty easily. Let's see. Yeah, so it's not like transfer proof or anything. But yeah, I do like, I do like it. I just wasn't expecting that at all. I just thought it was gonna be like a liquid lipstick but one that doesn't dry down but it is more like I said the Too Faced Peach Puff so it's not it is a matte formula but it's it doesn't dry to matte if that makes sense so okay 
right, that's fun. So I guess that's it. Yeah, another very natural look. But you guys know I don't do normally like full colorful looks, especially in these times we're living in. But I do like everything except for the concealer. I think that was the only thing that I didn't like. Um, the rest of my face looks really good. Yeah, I I think I really like... I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation or the two together that are giving me such a nice dewy glow, but I really liked both of these. Um, maybe, like I said, I could have gone for a shade deeper, but yeah. I guess that's it. I'm just gonna leave my hair in a towel. I hope that's okay. But if you like this video, give it a like. If you know of any other interesting, like, hyped up drugstore makeup that I should try, let me know below. And yeah, if you like, did I already say that? If you like this video, give it a like. I'm pretty sure I did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!